what we've seen in, in recent elections, in particular in, in Nate Silver's success in predicting the last two elections, is um, a real victory for statistics. Um, what he's done, essentially, is uh, used uh, sophisticated statistical techniques and data, uh, large data sets, uh, to make very accurate predictions. Um, after the uh, election, I remember seeing on TV uh, one of the Republican strategists um, responding to a question about why the election results caught the, the, the Republican Party off guard. Um, and his response, I, I had to chuckle at, his response was, uh, well, the Democrats used analytics that we've never seen before. Now, what he really was saying is that um, the, the Democrats used uh, statistical methods in a very effective way. So I think that as people start to see the power of uh, statistical, of applying statistical methods and, and using data. There's lots and lots of data out there now. Um, we just need to figure out how to use it in an effective way. And I think um, a, a year or two ago, Hal Varian, who's the chief uh, economist of Google, um, he had a very famous quote that said, um, I keep saying that um, in the next 10 years, the sexy job is going to be statisticians. Um, and I think he's on to something there. I think that, um, that we're going to start seeing a lot more visibility for the field of statistics it, uh, and, and what they're calling as uh, analytics, but which is really just statistics with large data sets. So I think that the, the future is very bright um, for statistics and for people that uh, know how to use it effectively. Mm -hmm.